Motor Hate Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com, coming to you from the Campbell's Custom Care Studio. You're riding along with Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now, headlights, they've been around since cars have been invented. They started out as lanterns. In 1898, they went electric. And in 1924, you had high beams. And since then, you've only really had a choice here, Cody. You've, you've had your, your low beams and your high beams. And you can use one or the other and then add fog lights in another you know, 30 or 40 years ago. And now you only have a choice of one or the other. But you've solved that problem. How so? So what we did, uh, we created the Bright Box in 1996 to allow you to basically keep the low beams on with high beams. And what that allows you to do is basically keep all your lights on and give you a wider field of coverage um, and maximize your lighting output so you can basically see much more in your field of view at night. So you can avoid obstacles, ditches, all kinds of things. Um, this is really uh, helpful when there's no street lights or any lighting on the road. So rural areas, dark roads, off road. So thanks to Aspire Auto Accessories, you can see your high beams are throwing way down the road and then your low beams are seeing what's what's in front of you. So maybe obstructions, animals on the road. Exactly, like exactly, of course. Well, it's a lot of times um, I've gotten people who mention uh, being on the road and they'll see deer, uh, cows, you know, that could be costly damage to your vehicle. You hit a deer, it's gonna ruin your front end. What the Bright Box allows you to do is basically be able to see those oncoming things ahead of time so you can prevent any unwanted damage or anything. It could be a big safety issue, not having all your lights on. And I can see a lot of folks, maybe they're off-roading and they want all the light they can get when they're out in the woods, so that's, this is very cool for that. You had the original Bright Box and then it evolved. What'd you do next? So what we did next is fog lights were introduced and we were able to make a Bright Box that allows you to keep the high beams, low beams, and fog lights all on at the same time. So this really helps when you're off-roading because you hit your high beams, you're gonna have your low beams and fog lights which basically illuminate the entire front of your vehicle. And then you have high beams, which gives you even more distance with your uh, field of coverage and light. And then you're able to just see the whole trail ahead of you. And then at Aspire, you came up with the Fogster. Yes. And tell me how that works. So basically the Fogster will keep your fog lights on when you hit high beams. Some vehicles already keep the low beams on with high beams. The Fogster is gonna keep the fog lights on with high beams. So then you have your highs, lows, and fog lights all on at the same time. And then, you know, in a snowy situation, you know, we've all seen it up driving up north, turn your headlights on, you can't see very well. You think your high beams might be the solution, and all you're seeing, it looks like you're in the Millennium Falcon with stars flying by, it's reflecting off of that. How'd you solve that problem? So we created the Bright Box Anytime that allows you to turn on your fog lights at any time with the press of a switch. And what that allows you to do is you could press that switch, run your parking lights, and cut directly through that snow if you're running, you know, your amber fogs, and you don't get that reflection that you have from the yeah, white lights bouncing the back right at you and blinding you very cool a lot of folks up north i know can use that a lot of my friends what's installation like when it comes to the bright box installation for the bright box is really easy it's about 15 to 30 minute install depending on if you have to remove a headlight but other than that you just have a simple screwdriver and a wrench and you can install it really quick how much do i have to modify my vehicle to put the bright box in you don't have to modify it at all there's no modifications required to run the bright box just plug it into the lights, plug it into the battery, and then I've got a switch on my dash. And speaking of switches here, you've got a great looking switch right there that kind of hides under the dash. That's one you designed, and that looks very cool. Do I have options besides that? Yes, so we have two different options of switches. You have the universal switch that you just mentioned, and then we also have the OEM style switch, which gives it a nice, clean, factory OEM look for Toyota vehicles. And mentioning Toyota, is the Brightbox vehicle specific? We do have specific applications, so it's going to be directly fit for your vehicle. And then we do have people who request applications, and what we do is I'll go ahead and collect the data that's required and figure out what we need to make an application for the customer. Really simple to install. If you have any issues, you can check out the YouTube videos that these guys have put up. You can also give them a call. There's a whole slew of accessories you can find at AspireAutoAccessories.com along with the Bright Box. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. Don't go away. Oh, and by the way, don't forget Motorhead of the Week coming up.